Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to be doing a mukbang. I went to Hardee's and I got their all-star meal. It has the double cheeseburger and I'm gonna give one of the burgers to Tommy, my doggy. And then it comes with a spicy chicken sandwich, a fry, a cookie, and a drink. So, I should be good to go today. So, Tommy, come here. Come here. You want to see? Come on, up, up, up. Up, up. If you want one, you got to come up here. Come on. Up, up. They want to see you. They want to say hi to you. We're going to interview you, too. <laughs> so, that would be funny, right? What is it like to be a dog? The people want to know. Up, up. Look at him. He's ready for it. Look, he took off. He's like, what do you think? I'm going to steal your sandwich from you? Ay, ay, ay. He's dog is. I also have a parrot. Here, let me show you. I'm going to give him a french fry. Baby. Let's see if you can see him. Hold on. Oh, I just dropped his fry. Are you going to say hi? Come on. You want to front? He saw the camera. He's like, not doing it. Come on. Here you go. He loves french fries. I don't give him a lot because of the sodium, but you know, one once in a while is not a big deal. But yeah, he's an orange wing Amazon. And that's the same parrot that Christopher Columbus, you know, saw when he discovered America. And Tommy, if I can get him up here, come on, up up. Up up. If you want a French fry, you better get up here. Come on. Up. Oh, come here. <laughs> he knows I'm up to something. He doesn't know what it is. I think he knows I'm trying to get him on the camera. Because he just came around. He's a Morky. A Maltese-Yorkie mix. And... His name is Tommy. My parrot's name is Baby. Baby's name should have been Tommy. And Tommy's name should have been Baby. Because if Tommy is home by himself, he will seriously, like, freak out. Have an entire anxiety attack. So his name should have been Baby. And Baby's name should have been Tommy because he's a peeping Tom. Whenever someone goes to the bathroom, he flies over to the door and he watches you. He's like, it's so creepy. May I help you, sir? I need a napkin. So this year has been kind of rough for me. So, if you guys can keep me in your prayers, I would appreciate it. Um, so, it's been like, since 2009 started, it's been like a series of unfortunate events over and over and over again. So, the first thing that happened was my income tax check. I had made a plan and everything to make a payment arrangement. And... Um, they were trying to be slick and they took my entire income tax check. I already had an arrangement. I already started making payments on it. They were saying, oh, it only applies if you've been making payments for like three months. Really? You could have told me that then, but okay. So yeah. And my car broke down. So I really needed that check. <laughs> To fix my car. 
So I wasn't able to fix my car and I didn't get my check. And then my brother died. Um, he had, he had uh, schizophrenia and um, I don't want to get too much into detail, but he wasn't taking his meds and uh, he had a knife in his hands and trying to stab someone and when the police showed up, the police shot and killed him. So, but that was like really, my brother is not normally like that. Um, I don't want you guys to get the wrong impression about schizophrenia because normally schizophrenics don't do stuff like that but he was off his meds there was no trace of any of the medicine in his system so God knows when the last time he took his meds So that was hard. He was my baby brother. And then, well, I shouldn't say baby brother because that gives the impression that he was a kid. He, he's, we're all three years apart. My older brother, myself, and my younger brother. And then it's like, we're all summer babies, September, July, August. And then I think it's, the dates are like eight, seven, no. Eight, nine, seven, I think. So, it was like, it was really hard. And then <clears throat> my best friend's son died of a heart attack. He was young. And, um, that was right after, like not the next day or anything, but a few weeks after my brother. And then, I've been going through like a depression. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm still motivated, I'm still doing stuff, but I'm not motivated the way I used to be. Like, I still have goals, I still have things I wanna do and stuff like that. And it's not like I'm like secluded in my house, not doing anything. But, inside I don't feel motivated. Physically I'm still doing stuff, but inside I'm just like, whatever. But, I know I'll get out of this funk soon. And hopefully get back to my crazy self. But like I said, if you guys can just keep me in your prayers, I appreciate that. I have like so many goals that I have for myself. And one of the things that I feel like I really I've always felt like I wanted to do this is like create some kind of organization on and I'm trying to think of, like, of a new way of being able to really help the poor something that is like long term for them something that isn't just like feeding them for a day you know what I mean something that's gonna last a long time helping them to get jobs and get the medical treatment that they need, be able to stand on their own two feet is really what I wanna do for the community. Because I've been, I've been through a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? So I sympathize a lot for those who are less fortunate. And just knowing that most of the people that, a lot of the people, especially in my area that are homeless were vets, you know, it's like, people that put their life on the line for us 
and now they don't have food to eat. They don't have a place to live at. Like, we have to do something. So, but in order for me to help someone else, I have to help myself first. Like, I have to be able to stand on my own two feet. So I have to get some kind of transportation. But like I said, everything just started crashing at once. Like boom, 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 boom. And then it's just continued to go downhill for me, so. But hopefully that will change soon. I'll just keep praying. And I feel like it's going to change. But I'm just being impatient. Like I want it to happen now, not later. <laughs> the one thing like with not having a car is like that you stay humble. It really humbles you. And it really makes you like realize how hard it is for other people that haven't had a car, that never had a car to get around. Like when I was going to work by bus, it would take me about two hours just to get to work. So if I had to be at work at nine, I have to get on the bus by seven. Crazy. And my job wasn't even that far. Because you have to go from the bus that's picking you up to the transfer station. And then it takes you to the location where you're trying to get to. And then you might not even be close enough to the place you're trying to go to. So you might still have to walk the rest of the way. So that could be like an hour and a half to two and a half hours just to get to work. So you really start to think of what people are going through in life and it really makes me grateful that God has provided for me all this time. He's really looked out for me in life. I owe him like more than I can ever pay back. I have a new website and I'm going to be doing Bible study um, studies online. It's going to be um, on Wednesdays. It's starting next Wednesday on the July 17th. All the information is going to be down below in the description box. So check it out if you want to participate in it. Um, it will be through a uh, video call but there are some people that are camera shy and that's fine you can turn off the camera it's going to be through uh, I don't like the brown fries tell me here we're going to be using uh, Google Hangouts so there is a way to turn off your camera and that way you can still participate without showing your face but I really want to connect with people all over the world I've always been a very diverse person um, that's how I've been my whole life like nobody taught me to be that way that was just me by nature. I love getting to know other people's cultures, um, learning new languages, you know, different things like that. I think it's a lot of fun. And um, the 
getting any perspective. Because a lot of times with culture, you have a different perspective of things. And so, that can come in handy sometimes, but... Yeah, I know I've been like kind of like low energy throughout this video. And that's just kind of how I've been like lately. That's why I really need you guys to pray for me. Because usually I'm bubbly and I'm one of those annoyingly happy people. Awesome. And I think too, like, because normally, like, during the summertime, I'm able to do so much with my daughter. I'm able to take her on nature walks and to, um, like, amusement parks and, and the beach and stuff like that and, and the pool. And this summer, I really haven't been able to do much for her. So... And I know it's not the end of the world because you can't go to the beach, but, you know, you work all year long, you want to be able to enjoy some family time. That's what, that's what I live for, is the family time. baby is like loving his fry he can literally eat a fry like he's gonna be like because <laughs> he's a bird you know so it takes him forever to eat his fry I think it's funny but yeah so like I said keep me in your prayers Bible study classes are not gonna be this boring I promise you But I really want to be able to like dig into the Bible. The one thing I am going to say is that like I want us to all get along. We're all on different levels of understanding when it comes to God. We've all been indoctrinated in a different way. It doesn't matter. I came from the Catholic Church. It doesn't matter if you come from the Catholic Church or another church. We've all been taught things that were not you know accurate. So we have to you know meet people where they're at not want them to be where we are you know the focus should be more on them um getting them to a place of understanding but also being patient enough to to get them to a place of accepting the truth so that's how god is with us you know there's a lot of things that god's like that's not true But he knows why we think that way. Um, for those seeking truth, he will give them the truth, but gradually. He has a lot of patience with us. So we have to be the same with, with other people. This is pretty good. If you guys are like on a budget or whatever, you get a lot of food. It's like only like six bucks. For a double cheeseburger, a chicken sandwich, fries, a cookie, and a drink. <laughs> Tommy is eyeballing me. But he's like behind the camera because he doesn't want to be seen on the camera. I'll only give you a bite if you come up here. <laughs> he's like, no. Up up. Are you going to say hi to the camera? Come on. Up up. Up up. Yeah, he's, he's like, I'm not, I don't want them to see me. He was just at the vet.
couple of days ago for an infection in his paw. He is like the weirdest dog ever. Because what dog likes to go to the vet? But he gets excited. And I think the reason is because he sees other dogs and cats and stuff. And he loves to be around other animals. But then, as soon as it was our turn to go in the back to see the doctor, he was like trying to run out the door. <laughs> that was so funny. And as little as he is, if he doesn't want to do something, if he doesn't like what you're doing, he turns into the incredible hog. It took like three of us to hold him down just so the vet could look at him. I can't share my sandwich with you because it's a spicy chicken. I don't know if you can take the heat. <laughs> All right, you guys. Like I said, keep me in your prayers. Um, oh, I forgot to mention this. I don't know how I forgot to mention this. My uncle just went in the hospital for surgery for a tumor that was right here. And um, the surgery went okay. They were able to get all of it out from what they can tell. But continue to keep him in his prayers. This is the second time. The other time it was like behind his ear. So keep him in, his, in your prayers. Um, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And until next time, stay blessed.